And the Congo community in the Amatoria district in the eastern Cape claims it's had no running water for 10 years now and residents actually embarked on a two-day total shutdown on Monday but also further complaining of sewage running into their properties. That's right. So the visuals we were taking a look at there uh, just a moment. Let's go mm. to that story in fact where it is the Congo community uh, in the Amatole district down in the eastern Cape. Uh, no water, running water uh, for almost a decade now. I can't imagine not having running water for a decade. That's a long time. Residents mm. embarked on a Two-day uh, total shutdown on Monday, also complaining of sewage running into their properties. But they also say that the municipality has neglected them for far too long. Now, they're threatening not to vote in the local government elections. Well, here's ENCA's Inkleba in Tlanganiso with this story. Lili Beni suffers from arthritis. For the past decade, she's had to walk long distances to fetch water because taps ran dry long ago. Upon arrival at the reservoir, she joins a long queue. The community depends on this man risking his life by jumping inside to draw water for them. Since we have a special so I'm my own boss, Glennon Hinsan. For the night, I'm going to go to the local commission and the yards by Malin. But as long as I'm going to go to the commission. Sewage also runs into the people's yards and down the streets. It's children who end up suffering. I'm going to go to the sewage. I'm going to go to the sewage. I'm going to go the Amatole district municipality has this to say. One of the challenges facing the district is aging infrastructure, which is the case in the area of Seviwe and Kumha, where a pipeline that feeds this area from the Kai Bridge is quite old and constantly bursts, which then results to intermittent water supply. We have appointed a consultant, which is now doing the design and the spec of a project, which is going to cost about 50 million dollars which is the replacement of this pipeline. This project upon implementation is likely to last for 12 months. She says the municipality is also looking at upgrading the sewage system. But the residents say they won't stop protesting until they get a permanent solution to their grievances. Okay. Eastern Cape.